As we all know, water is the most important element on Earth, it's the core of every living thing. But why is it so important? What are its components? That's what we're going to know in this video. Water, a substance composed of the chemical elements hydrogen and oxygen and existing in gaseous, liquid, and solid states. It is one of the most plentiful and essential of compounds. A tasteless and odorless liquid at room temperature, it has the important ability to dissolve many other substances. Indeed, the versatility of water as a solvent is essential to living organisms. Life is believed to have originated in the aqueous solutions of the world's oceans, and living organisms depend on aqueous solutions, such as blood and digestive juices, for biological processes. Water also exists on other planets and moons both within and beyond the solar system. In small quantities water appears colorless, but water actually has an intrinsic blue color caused by slight absorption of light at red wavelengths. Although the molecules of water are simple in structure, H2O, the physical and chemical properties of the compound are extraordinarily complicated, and they are not typical of most substances found on Earth. For example, although the sight of ice cubes floating in a glass of ice water is commonplace, such behavior is unusual for chemical entities. For almost every other compound, the solid state is denser than the liquid state. Thus, the solid would sink to the bottom of the liquid. The fact that ice floats on water is exceedingly important in the natural world because the ice that forms on ponds and lakes in cold areas of the world acts as an insulating barrier that protects the aquatic life below. If ice were denser than liquid water, ice forming on a pond would sink, thereby exposing more water to the cold temperature. Thus, the pond would eventually freeze throughout, killing all the life forms present. Water occurs as a liquid on the surface of Earth under normal conditions, which makes it invaluable for transportation, for recreation, and as a habitat for a myriad of plants and animals. The fact that water is readily changed to a vapor, gas, allows it to be transported through the atmosphere from the oceans to inland areas where it condenses and, as rain, nourishes plant and animal life. See Hydrosphere. The hydrologic cycle for a description of the cycle by which water is transferred over Earth. 200 years later, Aristotle considered water to be one of four fundamental elements, in addition to earth, air, and fire. The belief that water was a fundamental substance persisted for more than 2,000 years until experiments in the second half of the 18th century showed that water is a compound made up of the elements hydrogen and oxygen. The water on the surface of earth is found mainly in its oceans, 97.25%, and polar ice caps and glaciers, 2.05%, with the balance in freshwater lakes, rivers, and groundwater. As Earth's population grows and the demand for freshwater increases, water purification and recycling become increasingly important. Interestingly, the purity requirements of water for industrial use often exceed those for human consumption. For example, the water used in high-pressure boilers must be at least 99.999998% pure. Because seawater contains large quantities of dissolved salts, it must be desalinated for most uses, including human consumption. Let's see how liquid water is useful to us. The water molecule is composed of two hydrogen atoms, each linked by a single chemical bond to an oxygen atom. Most hydrogen atoms have a nucleus consisting solely of a proton. Two isotopic forms, deuterium and tritium, in which the atomic nuclei also contain one and two neutrons, respectively, are found to a small degree in water. Deuterium oxide, D2O, called heavy water, is important in chemical research and is also used as a neutron moderator in some nuclear reactors. Although its formula, H2O, seems simple, water exhibits very complex chemical and physical properties. For example, its melting point, 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and boiling point, 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, are much higher than would be expected by comparison with analogous compounds, such as hydrogen sulfide and ammonia. In its solid form, ice, water is less dense than when it is liquid, another unusual property. The root of these anomalies lies in the electronic structure of the water molecule. 
The water molecule is not linear but bent in a special way. The two hydrogen atoms are bound to the oxygen atom at an angle of 104.5 degrees. The OH distance, bond length, is 95.7 picometers, 9.57 times 10 minus 11 meters, or 3.77 times 10 minus 9 inches. Because an oxygen atom has a greater electronegativity than a hydrogen atom, the OH bonds in the water molecule are polar, with the oxygen bearing a partial negative charge, delta minus, and the hydrogens having a partial positive charge, delta plus. Hydrogen atoms in water molecules are attracted to regions of high electron density and can form weak linkages, called hydrogen bonds, with those regions. This means that the hydrogen atoms in one water molecule are attracted to the non-bonding electron pairs of the oxygen atom on an adjacent water molecule. The structure of liquid water is believed to consist of aggregates of water molecules that form and reform continually. This short-range order, as it is called, accounts for other unusual properties of water, such as its high viscosity and surface tension. An oxygen atom has six electrons in its outer, valence, shell, which can hold a total of eight electrons. When an oxygen atom forms a single chemical bond, it shares one of its own electrons with the nucleus of another atom and receives in return a share of an electron from that atom. When bonded to two hydrogen atoms, the outer electron shell of the oxygen atom is filled.